Well, I said that recently. Uh, weekend. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, Weekend. Thank you. Um, I thought it was the first film I'd ever seen that actually portrayed gay people as people without hiding their gayness. Um, and as we are now. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, and, and, and I really recommend it um, to those of you who, who, who haven't yet seen it. You can get it, I think you can get it quite easily on Netflix at this point. Let me try and think of another one. Um, well, the other one that really had a huge impact on me was My Beautiful Laundrette, which was 1981, I think. Um, and it tells you something about how things have changed. And partly because it was thrilling to see Daniel Day-Lewis kiss anybody. Um, uh, but to see him as a, a young English punk falling in love with a Pakistani, the son of a Pakistani immigrant in early 80s Britain. Um, I saw it actually in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, uh, I think it must have been 1984. Um, and in Cambridge, Massachusetts, back in 1984, when the kiss actually happened, there was a, there was a, a groan of revulsion from the audience. Ugh! Ugh! Some people got up and walked out. Um, but for me, it was, it, was, it was, yes, this is real. And because I think the relationship uh, impeccably acted was real, you felt the love between these two men. And it wasn't tragic. You know, whenever, if you've seen The Celluloid Closet, which is another amazing documentary I recommend, um, you realize uh, that every gay person previously had to either die or have some tragic thing happen to them. And of course, the AIDS era did that, um, too. Uh, but Weekend and My Beautiful Laundrette was simply wonderful. Um, a single man is also uh, worth, worth seeing. Um, and uh, of course, The Sound of Music.